My God, my God, we supply on my knees according to his riches in glory. Like Jesus, this spirit of lack, this spirit of lack, this spirit of lack, this spirit of lack. I receive it. 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 I receive it.
in the name of Jesus, amen. Like the way you pray today, and I pray that every unfriendly helper that are causing havoc to your life, in the name of Jesus, they will depart from you. Amen. I just pray the prayer for you now that needed amen that we are sent to heaven. Amen. You are going to pray and you are going to tell the Lord every <laughs> negative transaction that is currently affecting my life negatively in the name of Jesus, I cancel that transaction. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Every evil transaction that is affecting me negatively. Oh my God, everlasting Father God, I cancel you. 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 In Jesus' name, I cancel you. Every negative transaction. Oh God, my Father. Oh God, my Father. My Father. Oh God, my Father. Every negative transaction. I I cancel, I cancel, I Jesus. 
Anything affecting my finance, may be to you. I command you in the name of Jesus. We are coming. Come on, 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 come on,
problem for the other. Oh Lord, by this by the reason of the anointing, by the glory of the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Ghost, let those, oh God, all those unknown and unknown, now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, every every evil covenant, any covenant that is outside the covenant of the blood of Jesus, and to them I crush them, I destroy them by the blood of Jesus Christ. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, the Bible says, Christ has redeemed us from every cause. He has redeemed us, oh God, from the cause of the Lord. This is the cause for us, oh God, for it is written. Cost is everyone that can get on a thing. Every evil boss, every racist, every negative declaration of our life, the point our line makes all the world. So, them by the blood of Jesus, I destroy everything now. I destroy it of the name of Jesus. 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 Jesus.
this one prayer, please answer it this evening. Open your mouth and pray. My father, my God, my my father was taken so long. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, that you make the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I ask you, my father was taken so long. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, I ask you, my father, God, to fill it and bring it to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. If you believe that God has answered your prayer, I want you to give me a cheery louder. Amen. Amen. In your life, in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We pray, Lord, and we thank you for season of prayer. Thank you for empowerment and thank you for the ignition of fire on our altar. Thank, thank you, you because the devil is a liar. Yes, they mm. keep trying, they try, they try, but we know they are falling for our sake. Thank you, Father, because you say you will, you, you will make everything about in us in all sufficiency. My God and my Father, as we have asked and we have demanded, we pray, Holy Spirit, give us answers in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every concluded matter, every case that has been passed on to principality for attestation, my God and my Father, we cancel, we demolish, we eradicate, we take out in the name of Jesus. And we pray, Lord, that the blessing of God will be outpouring over our life in our ministry in the name of Jesus. Amen. In this we pray that your hands will be upon us. Your Amen. spirit will journey with us. We will not be weak. We will not be able. We will not be able. We will not be put to shame. We will not be limited. But we have breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, my God, because it is done. Thank you, In Jesus. Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. amen. That prayer was also loud. That amen was also loud. Forgive me a louder amen. 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 This is the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate the name of the Lord for today's prayer. It came to a time I all, almost tempted to drop all what I'm doing so that I can really join you. But the Spirit told me those people who water, uh, God watered them. So I keep inviting people to the online. I pray that God will continue to bless Pastor Dako in Jesus' name. And Amen. the Spirit will continue to abandon him in Jesus' name. Uh, there's one thing that I want to ask when I'm expecting Sister Oguke. If I call the name very well, Josephine to amount herself because today is our open check. And I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus that God is going to answer her in Jesus' name. She should amount herself by the time I call her to request for whatever you want people to pray for. And all our pastor, I've told you uh, at this Stage and this type of can hear you very well. Sir. Oh, Sorry. hello, praise the Lord. Are you hearing me very well now? Hello, we are you? Yeah. yes, we can hear you. Okay, uh, praise the Lord. Uh, I said, you know, I'm nearly tempted to drop all what I'm doing on the computer to join you in prayer before the Holy Spirit told me. That people who water it, God watered them. I pray that God will continue to bless Pastor Dako in Jesus' name. Amen. And the grace of God will continue to be upon him in the name of 
be surprised. Amen. But I'm saying I want I want Sister Ogoke. If I call the name, uh, I mean very well. Ogoke Joseph Josephine. So please, on motor say today is our open check. So that by the time I call her, he will tell us what he wants God to do for him. I mean for her. And by the grace of the Lord in December, it will be among those people who are going to share testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Um, then when the prayer was so powerful, something came to my mind that uh, what can, what we, what, why God is not going to answer this prayer? What can let God uh, do a thing doesn't hear us? So to me, I want maybe one one answer or two so that we can cancel it. Because I don't see reason why anyone online today will go without the blessing of what he has asked for. The reason why we're not able to say today, June 17, I pray and God answer my prayer. So I want to see maybe one thing anybody can tell me. I know God does. We cannot use the promise of the Lord to hold Almighty God. I totally believe that. But I totally believe in faith that whatever we ask for is going to be done. It's going Amen. to be answered. Amen. And we are going to see the manifestation. So my Amen. Why, why, Amen. Why, why, is that why are we going to be the same after today's prayer? Now, anybody know that we want, I want to use it as an excuse that, that this guy, God, is not going to answer you. But if there's anything we think, we need to cancel this morning. So that the, pray, the so that the prayer we have is prayed in every one of us. I want to see somebody to just tell me what you think, and then if there's no answer, that means by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, from this moment, from this moment, the impact the impact of the of the prayer is going to be seen in every one of us in Jesus' name. That's just my mm -hmm. But can anybody tell me what you think? It's not that we want to. Make a big out of it. It's not that, but so that we can pray that God, if it is the sin, that we not let this prayer be answered in myself, in the life of other father. Please, just because of this morning, forgive us. Or if it is lack of faith, we not let this prayer be answered. We not let me see impact of this prayer. God, please increase our faith. Or follow the faith of see? other people that have prayed. So I want just anybody to see me. Why we think that? We cannot see the impact of this prayer in the life of every one of us. Somebody just give me one answer or two so that we can pray against it. Because God should increase our faith. Amen. Amen. So, Pastor, that for you here? Yeah? Yes, sir. So, we are going to pray about that. God should increase our faith. <laughs> sir? Is anybody talking? Unbelief um, and okay, okay. Me, I totally believe <laughs> because if I, I'm just telling you myself. Because if I don't believe, I won't raise this question. You get what I'm saying? And I don't see the reason why anyone of us will not see the part of this. So, Pastor Dapo, lack of faith, unbelief in the life of any one of us that will not let us see the impact of this prayer, God should remove in Jesus' name. And look Amen. at the blood Amen. of Jesus Christ on the Calvary. Just because of, the, of his blood on the Calvary, that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, he should honor his name that we have called this morning. And I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, from this moment, as we conclude, everybody is going to see the impact of the prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Sister Josephine, please, can you tell us two, one or two things you want God to do for you? Uh, I've seen it. She has not on motor self. Sister Ugoke Josephine. I see, I see you, you are still on motor. I mean, you mute yourself. Okay. Okay. If there's no one, uh, if there's no one, okay. Uh, Pastor Dapol, we will give him the chance. They, they said the uh, what is the name? They said enough. That, although that's not a biblical, uh, they said enough cannot sharp itself or something like that. There's no even our GS. Many times we tell us 
pray for me. Okay, Sister Josephine has a month herself. Please, can you tell us what you yes, want? Sir. Tell us what you want God to do for you. Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. I am. Hallelujah. I want God. There is a, my son that is outside, and there's a lot of conspiracy and confusion. I want God to intervene and bring every confusion, every gang up to a halt. And my second son that is in, in school, he is supposed to be having scholarship money that they promised since this is two years now. Somebody they've been sitting on it, they refuse to lose that money. And they promise paying the money in March. Till now, nothing has happened. That God will unseat whatever that is, whoever that is sitting on it, his portion will be given to him. That hey. is my request, sir. Amen. Amen. Pastor Dasko, so uh, you see the, our request, the, the first one, all gang up. The second one, about the scholarship. Then the general prayer, unbelief and faith. About the power and the blood of Jesus that God should remove in Jesus' name. Uh, Amen. Sister, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, I, mean, I join you in faith. Uh, by the grace of the Lord, uh, to let you know how important I will be on my name, and I know other pastors too. By the grace of the Lord, they will join you in faith. And by the power and the blood, we will share testimony in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. uh, my GS said, Pastor Ali, um, bear me witness if I misquote GS, he can correct me. He said, by this time I say, let us pray. I'm on my way to kingdom of God. He said, by the time I close my eyes, mm. I couldn't remember. Then he said, by the time I say, uh, in Jesus' name, he said, I'm before God. I couldn't remember how he said it very well. Uh, so I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we are his children. As God, God honor his word, God will honor everything we pray for this morning in Jesus' name. Over to you, Pastor. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall we pray? Almighty God, we thank you. We bless you because we believe. Thank you, Father. Holy Spirit, Lord, as we present ourselves before you, Yes, we understand that there could be some things that can be hindrance to our prayers. Something like sin, something like unforgiven spirit, something yes. like lack of faith. Yes. But Lord, I pray, package them together, we pray, that you will take them away from our life in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 To call it big, whatever it is, give them salvation. Amen. And Amen. Those Amen. Unforgiven spirit. If Jesus can forgive us, then we should be able to forgive any person. Therefore, Lord, we forgive those that wrong us. Amen. And we pray in spirit of forgiveness to come upon us Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Spirit of unbelief, I command you, get out. Amen. Let lack of faith expire. Amen. We put it into action now. Holy Spirit, grant our request in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. That boy that is saturated, be clouded with conspiracy of, of whatever things or the other. Lord, I pray now, may you begin to find alignment. Amen. May you begin to pray. Amen. Uh, uh, Savior, to bring him out of wilderness and captivity in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now I command your crooked path to become straight. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I speak Amen. to his life. I speak continuity to his life. Amen. I speak grace to his life. I speak Amen. sufficiency to his life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And that boy that Amen. is promised a uh, uh, scholarship. And they have not given it to him. Oh, yeah. Let the scholarship be given to him in areas. Amen. 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 The book of remembrance Amen. will be opened for him now in the name of Jesus. 
Amen. Amen. And that night came when King Ahasuerus could not sleep. For God had taken away his sleep. My God and my Father, for those that are in charge of that promise that has already been made, I pray and I command now that you will take away their sleep. Hey, Take away hey, their sleep hey, and hey, 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 in the name hey, of Jesus. Hey, hey, Let that promise come to fulfillment in his life in the name of Jesus. Hey, 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 for everyone hearing the sound of my voice. Amen. And God has established a promise with you some days and is here mm. to manifest in your life. I pray now, ah. let it begin to manifest. Amen. Let it begin to manifest. Amen. Let it begin to manifest. In the Amen. name of the Father, in the name Amen. of the Son, in Amen. the name Amen. of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit, do it for everyone in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let the testimony begin from tomorrow. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because I believe, we Thank believe you, you have done it. Amen. Do it, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Perfect name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Now, if you are saying amen, give me a powerful amen. 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 God bless you. And I want to remind all our pastors that all the gifts of prayer, all the grief from Babu, as far as Bablika, on this session of open check, is allowed in Jesus' name. And God will right. let us use it for his glory in Jesus' name. Amen. There's no need for you to go to what government church, to any other church. We are in deeper life. All the gifts are present there. And I believe in the video of us, especially the pastor, you have been gifted with one gift or the other. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, in open check uh, session, you are allowed. In the joy of the Lord will continue to be your strength in Jesus' name. As far Amen. as God, as far as Bablika, and I trust my pastor, immediately it's not Bablika, they will attack you. I trust them. So, thank you. Let's share the grace together. The grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall find us in the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 We shall meet at the gathering of the eagle tomorrow by the grace of the Lord. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, bless you, Thank you sir. God bless you, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. Yes, God. Hey, you, you made a way. And here I am to worship. Here I am to bow. Here I am to say that you're my God. We're all together lovely. All together.
to worship him this morning because he's altogether lovely let's open our mouth as we worship him through our prayers this morning worship him because he is the father of light worship him because as a mighty father he has never disappointed us worship him because where there is even when there is no father figure in the family God has never disappointed he's always there with us always there with the widows with the fatherless with the widowers God has been doing great things in our families let's worship him this morning 
let's thank him because despite all the things that the enemy had tried to do to rip our families apart to ruin our families to destroy us and to bring us to open repute and shame the Lord has been there he has been keeping us he has been helping us he has been favoring us let's worship him this morning the Lord deserves our worship he deserves our praises the Lord is great the Lord is mighty mighty in battle for all the battles he has fought on our behalf let's thank him for keeping us until this moment let's give him the praise this morning let's worship him yes in Jesus name we worship again let's pray for our mission field in Southeast Asia more particularly for our father in the Lord who is over there toiling and laboring for the harvest let's pray that this morning the Lord will uphold him that the Lord will keep him the Lord will continue to use him let's lift up his hands that the Lord will sustain his hands his hands will never go down that the Lord will keep using him over there there will be fruits there will be more testimonies in that land through his ministry through his ministration that through this outreach the Lord will add unto the kingdom such as should be saved in Jesus name we pray father Lord God we thank you this morning we worship you everlasting father because of your love because of your faithfulness over our lives that never runs dry Lord we are here this morning today to celebrate you and we pray father that as we worship you this morning our worship be acceptable unto thee and as we continue in the service of this morning lord we pray that may your presence never depart from us thank you lord for answering us we've prayed for your servant whom you are using in that land southeast asia lord to bring souls into your kingdom father we pray that more grace more anointing more unction you will continue father to add upon his life and ministry in the name of jesus as we continue this morning father we pray that you continue with us in jesus name we pray amen you may be seated praise the lord praise the lord amen by the way happy father's day to all the fathers in the house amen yes amen praise the lord we thank god for all he's been doing in the life of our fathers and the families and how god has been keeping them and our prayers is that the lord will continue to uphold them continue to use them mightily in the families in jesus name um yeah it's a time to celebrate and uh, well maybe if you're like in my shoe your dad is not there my dad has, was not there some years ago he passed so don't worry god is your father amen so you don't want to like feel emotional or oh my dad is not there and then they're doing yeah it's okay jesus is your father amen so if your dad is not there god is there for you amen so today is a great day in our church a great day in the nation and a great day a day that has been set apart to celebrate the fathers because the fathers they deserve that kind of celebration amen so our fathers in the house we pray that the lord will continue to give you more unction to function and give you the grace to actually take your rightful place as the head of the family in jesus name and wherever you need support the lord will give you that support and the support will not be missing every now and then in your lives in jesus name we want to quickly recognize those that are coming um, with us for the first time if today is your first day with fellowshipping with us could you please signify by raising your hands we want to bring you a special greeting from our pastor this morning amen yes a step further by rising on your feet my brethren if you wouldn't mind you can just rise on your feet we can do better we can do better church We can see all over you the glory of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You are welcome. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. 
can see all over you the glory of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. I don't know whether the media team can hand them over a mic. We want to know them the more. Just tell us your name so that we'll be able to address you appropriately. Thank you. All right. My name is Kenny. Kenny Sanders. Amen. Hello. I'm Ty. This is Kenaya and Drake. And we have two more downstairs with the children. Amen. I don't, I, bro, I, don't even, I think we still have more people with the mic here in the front yeah i'm blessing and um this is my brother theo there i have two more brothers they're downstairs and these are my parents amen hallelujah i'm precious amen <laughs> daddy has been here before now <laughs> amen praise the lord yes let's give it all to jesus amen praise the lord on behalf of our pastor and deeper life bible church we are all welcome to our sunday worship service this morning in jesus name we hope to see more of your faces so long as you're still around we pray that as you come along with us the lord will do you good in jesus name um we want to remind us of our weekly activities this is deeper life bible church washington dc we usually have three main uh, activities within the week Today is our Sunday worship service. We gather here by 8.30 in the morning to start our worship service, which begins with the pre-service prayers by 8.30. Then in the evening, we have our house caring fellowship, which is organized on zonal basis, and it starts by 6 p.m. Um, on each zone. Then after that, on Monday, tomorrow, we have our Monday Bible study, which begins by 6.20 p.m. every Monday. And it's always a great time to search and dig into the scriptures, which is usually navigated by our general superintendent, and it's been awesome all the time we log into that program. And here we are, uh, are available today in person. The Bible study is usually organized on, uh, uh, online, virtually. So we have a link, a Zoom link, through which you can connect and be blessed in the, during the Bible study. Then we also have our Friday Revival Service, which is also by 6 20 p.m every friday we encourage our members to log on because it's always an awesome time where we usually get blessed by the lord then on wednesday we have the senior citizens where they meet also and get blessed by 6 p.m we encourage our senior citizens to always as always continue to be part of this meeting then on thursday we have the youth and the children class bible studies the children go first by 6 p.m every thursday then after that the youths come on by 8 p.m we encourage them all to join the youths they know how to connect then the children the parents in the house will always be there to assist them to make sure they are connected praise the lord and we have other announcements um, on Thursday, the youths will be leaving for South Carolina, sorry, North Carolina. Amen? The youths, I can't hear you. Are you in the house? Are you excited to go to South North Carolina? Oh, I don't think they want to go. I can't hear them saying anything. You don't want, so maybe we we'll need to cancel the meeting, right? Do we cancel the meeting? We should cancel it. Maybe somebody is speaking for the youths. We shouldn't cancel it. So I can hear you saying something. Are you aware that you'll be going to North Carolina on Thursday? So what was the time again? What's our meeting time here? Five, six, amen. So the youths will be meeting here tentatively 5 a.m. If anything changes, we'll let you know. Amen? So let's... Um, stay tuned to i mean we have uh, uh platforms so we'll let you know if anything changes tentatively 5 a.m all youths are meant to be here so the youth the youth church will not be here next weekend so they'll be there 
in North Carolina, Kingston, from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, the meeting will be over, and then they'll be coming back that same Saturday, Sunday. So maybe we'll get here by Monday, early in the morning, or maybe uh, same Sunday night. And we encourage all our youth to be here to attend this meeting. It's very important. You know, some of us have registered. So if you've registered, that's fine. If you've not registered, the link is available for you. So please make sure you, in fact, it's even late now because it's based on that registration, we're able to do the rooming, make, and then um, get us together the way we're supposed to be. So please, if you've not done that, it's like setting us back, we need to do that before the end of today. And I don't want to believe there's anybody here that hasn't done that. Praise the Lord. Offering time. The Bible commands that we should bring our tithes and offering into the house, the house of faith, the house of the Lord, as the Lord has blessed us, as the Lord has prospered us. So it's a thing scripturally that we do here every Sunday when we gather together. We tend to give as the Lord has prospered us. As we give, the Lord will continue to multiply his blessings upon us in Jesus' name. So we have um, people that came with cash and checks. You can drop it in the offering bag as the bag is being passed around. And we also have our Zelle um, information if you want to give electronically where you may log into your um, bank account and transfer the money from your bank to the church account. Amen. Father, we thank you for this morning, for the grace you've given us and for the blessings you've given us. Lord, as we have appeared before you, we have not appeared empty. We pray, Lord, as we give this morning, that our offerings will be acceptable unto you in Jesus' name. Bless our giving, bless our offering, bless every hands that give it, and bless everybody here this morning. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for answering us in Jesus' name. Amen. Walking behind the scene, oh, so that you do, he has done it for oh, yeah. I want to take our Bible reading now as the media team projects for us. First Corinthians 15. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto yeah, you, first Corinthians which also 15, ye have so. received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, that he was buried, 
and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures, and that he was seen of Cephas, then of the twelve. After that he was seen of above five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present, but some are fallen asleep. After that he was seen of James, then of all the apostles, and last of all, he was seen of me also, as of one born out of due time. For I am the least of the apostles, that I am not meet to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain, that I labored more abundantly than they all, yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. Therefore, whether it were I or they, so we preach, and so ye believed. Now if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen? And if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain, and your faith is also vain. Yea, and we are found false witnesses of God, because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ, whom he raised not up, if so be that the dead rise not. For if the dead rise not, then is not Christ raised. And if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain. Ye are yet in your sins. Then they also which are fallen asleep in Christ are perished. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. But now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But every man in his own order, Christ the first fruits, afterward they that are Christ's at his coming. Then cometh the end, when he shall have delivered up the kingdom to God, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power. For he must reign till he hath put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. For he hath put all things under his feet. But when he saith all things are put under him, it is manifest that he is accepted which did put all things under him. And when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him, that God may be all in all. Else what shall they do which are baptized for the dead, if the dead rise not at all? Why are they then baptized for the dead? And why stand we in jeopardy every hour? I protest by your rejoicing which I have in Christ Jesus our Lord, I die daily. If after the manner of men I have fought with beasts at Ephesus, what advantageth it me, if the dead rise not? Let us eat and drink, for tomorrow we die. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. Awake to righteousness, and sin not. For some have not the knowledge of God. I speak this to your shame. But some man will say, How are the dead raised up? And with what body do they come? Thou fool, that which thou sowest is not quickened except it die. And that which thou sowest, thou sowest not that body that shall be. But bear grain, it may chance of wheat or of some other grain. But God giveth it a body as it hath pleased him, and to every seed his own body. All flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of beasts, another of fishes, and another of birds, there are also celestial bodies, and bodies terrestrial. But the glory of the celestial is one, and the glory of the terrestrial is another. There is one glory of the sun, and another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars. For one star differeth from another star in glory. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. And so it is written, 
The first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Howbeit, that was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward that which is spiritual. The first man is of the earth, earthy. The second man is the Lord from heaven. As is the earthy, such are they also that are earthy. And as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. May the Lord make us doers of his word in Jesus' name.
watch over you and I in Jesus name let's rise up and I want the sisters now to go to all the brothers male child whether they are zero years old or they are hundred years old and wish them happy Father's Day sisters we are waiting we are waiting we are waiting some sisters are still not standing up to wish them happy Father's Day God bless you. God bless you. God bless you.
wish them, wish them, wish them with a smile. They might not be a father today, but they will be father tomorrow. So wish them happy Father's Day. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Thank you. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Thank you. Thank you. All. God bless you. Let us pray. Our most high God, we thank you. We bless you for today. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We thank you, Lord, because you have declared the today to be a Father's Day. Father, I pray for every father in the house that your strength, your goodness, your mercy shall be upon them in Jesus' name. That in which you have called them to do. Father, I pray that they will not fail you in it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because you know you have answered. As we go into your word, Father, speak to me, to your people in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today, we'll quickly be looking at a message. It's a question to every father. Where is the fathers? Where are the fathers? Sorry. Where are the fathers? Unfortunately, today, we have found ourselves in a society where fathers, true fathers, are absent from the home. We have found ourselves in a society where fathers are no more performing their responsibilities as fathers. We have found ourselves in a society where fatherhood has been put down, has been put in such a way that the society does not recognize the importance and the significance of the father. And many fathers today they themselves, they don't know their responsibility. And because of that, we are producing children that are no more fulfilling destinies. Children that are not, I mean, that are not godly children. Children that are not the ones that they don't come out to become who God wants them to be. And why? It's because many fathers are truly absent in the family. Some of them are living in the family, but as part of their responsibility, they are completely absent. Let's look at Proverbs 4, verse 1. Proverbs 4, verse 1. The Bible says there, it says, Hear ye children, the instruction of who? Of a father. Ye children, hear the instruction of a father. When the father is not there, how will the child be able to hear the instruction? When the father is alive but the father is not performing his responsibility how will he be how will the children be able to hear instruction he says and attend to know what understanding for i give you good doctrine forsake ye not my lord for i was my father's son tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother i was my father's son he was saying that your grandpa i was his son and he taught me well and that's why i have the responsibility to teach you the ways of the Lord. But unfortunately today, what we got from our parents, many fathers are no more putting it across to their children. The discipline, the training, the things that our parents did for us when we were growing up. And many a times, it looks as if it was a terrible thing. How can you discipline me that way? But that discipline is what made you who you are today. But today, many of us, we have lost that ability to do that. Why? Because we felt we are in a society where anything goes. We felt we are in a society where you can just leave things to happen on its own. That's why I'm telling you a thousands, millions of children, they are in the jail today because this society will not allow you to do your responsibility as a father. When your responsibility is not done, when fatherhood is not taken to be a calling, many children will not be able to fulfill destiny. I'm telling you the number one calling that God has given you as a man is to be a true father. 
Fatherhood is not be bringing a child to the world. Anybody can bring a child to the world. Fatherhood is not, I mean, you don't, they don't even need a man to bring a child to the world anymore now these days. You don't have to be there. They do all kinds of things to bring child to the world. But what I'm saying is this, true fatherhood is a calling and a ministry that you need to fulfill. If you fail as a father, you have failed in your ministry. I pray that you will not fail in Jesus' name. I say you will not fail in Jesus' name. The cost of irresponsible fatherhood is too much to bear. It's too much to bear. Go and ask Eli. Eli will tell you. Eli was a good priest. Eli was a great priest. Eli did everything that God asked him to do, but... He was irresponsible when it came to the training of his children. And eventually, his ministry was cut short. Eventually, his generation was cut short. Eventually, he was, he, none of his children could succeed him. Why? Because he failed in that ministry that God gave him at home. If you fail in the ministry at home, it does not matter your achievements outside there. If you fail in your ministry as a father, it does not matter what you become. I'm telling you, it does not matter whether in the secular, whether in the spiritual, whether anywhere, it does not matter what you become. If you fail as a true father, as a spiritual father, even to your children, I pray that we will not fail God in Jesus' name. Somebody is not saying well. I say we will not fail God in Jesus' name. Okay, let me put it this way. I will not fail God in Jesus' name. I say I will not fail God in Jesus' name. We quickly be looking this message under three sub heading. Number one, the portrait of a faithful father. The portrait of a faithful father. A faithful father is a father that is doing that which God has called him to do. And he's doing it with all his might. He's doing it with all his strength. And he does it exactly the way God has asked him to do it. The portrait of a faithful faithful father. Number two, the pitfall of a failed father. We'll look at the life of Eli, how Eli failed God, how Eli failed in that which God has committed into his hand. Number three is the prophet of a fervent father, a father that is consistently doing which God has I mean, asked him to do. You will see the prophet of it. You will see it in the children. Let me tell you one thing. It's not schools that makes children great. I'm telling you, there are people that went to Harvard, there are people that went to Ivy League schools, there are people that went to schools that people pay millions of dollars to send their children to, and the children eventually did not come out great. If all you do is to send your children to go be trained by people that are not no God, and you yourself, you are failing in your responsibility, I'm telling you, you cannot profit from those children. But if you follow the portrait of God, if you follow the instruction of God, if you follow the things which God himself, as a true father, as a faithful father, has called us to do, you will not fail God in Jesus' name. I say you will not fail God in Jesus' name. We'll see that God has given us this portrait. Let's look at the point number one, portrait of a faithful father. Let's look at the uh, proverb 4 that we read again. He say, hear ye children, the instruction of a father, and attend to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine, not a bad one, not the societal doctrine, not the popular doctrine, the good doctrine that God has given unto us. That's a portrait of a faithful father. He said, forsake ye not my law, for I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also, he taught me also, a faithful father teaches, a faithful father instructs. A faithful father does what God has asked him to do. He said, he taught me also and said unto me, let thy heart retain my word. Keep my commandments and do what? And live. And live. Society today, many children, I mean, we heard in the news. We see it in the news. A 14-year-old trying to carjack at 2 p.m. M. I'm sorry, 2 a.m. And at night, does that child, uh, if he has a father that commands, if he has a father that instructs, if he has a father that is telling him that, look, you cannot be part of this society. You are in this world, but you are not part of this world. That child, he will keep the commandments in his heart. He says, get wisdom, 
get understanding, forget it not. Neither decline from the words of what? Of my that word has to be spoken. That father has to instruct before that child can listen. What are the attributes of God that makes, I mean, attributes of God that we need to emulate as a father? God is a good father. I thought somebody would say amen. I said God is a faithful father. But what are the attributes of God that makes us to call him a good father? Number one, God is loving. Tell your neighbor God is loving. I say God is loving. As a true father, as a faithful father, you have to be loving. And love begins with your wife. You cannot love your wife less. Many people, they will transfer the love they're supposed to give to their wife and put it on the children. It is not the God, plan of God. The, the Bible told us, it said, I mean, it said, husband, love your wife. Love your wife. Love your wife with all your heart. Look at what the Bible says in 1 John 3, verse 1. Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us, that we should be called what? The sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. God is loving. That's number one attribute of God. And God expects you as a true father to be loving. Number two, God is kind. Somebody say, God is kind. I say, God is kind. Ephesians 2, 7 and 8. Ephesians 2, 7 and 8. He said that in the ages to come, he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his what? In his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. A true father is kind. A faithful father is kind. Kind towards his children. Kind towards his wife. He does not maltreat them. He does not do things that he himself cannot take. He does not treat them in such a way that the children will look like an animal. The children, you know, many at times, many fathers, they don't physically abuse their children, but they mentally abuse them in such a way that the child will lose their dignity. And you expect that child to turn out good. 